Let's have a look at even and odd rational functions. Now, a rational function is a function that's composed of a polynomial divided by another polynomial. So that means we could just look at the two polynomials and find out if they're even or odd, and that could help us determine if the whole rational function is even or odd. Now let's have a look at what it means for a function to be even or odd. A function is even if, and only if, f of negative x is equal to f of x. So if I substitute negative x in for x, and I can simplify, and what I get is f of x, the function is even. It is odd if, and only if, I sub negative x into f, and what I get is negative f of x. Now, this also has to do with axis and point symmetry, or symmetry about the y-axis and symmetry about the origin. But what I'm doing here is just show you algebraically how you can show that a function is even or odd. And we're not looking at the graph at this stage. So if we're looking at 2x squared minus 1, is that even or odd? If I find f of negative x, that is going to be 2 times negative x squared, don't forget the brackets, minus 1. And as it turns out, negative x squared is the same as x squared. So this is 2x squared minus 1. And that's the same as f of x. So that means this first function was even. Let's look at the second one. f of x is 4x squared. Now, if I find f of negative x, I get 4 times negative x in brackets squared. And of course, that is also 4x squared for the same reason as above. And that means this function is also even. Now, what does this mean for the rational function that's composed of these two polynomials, these two even functions? Well, as it turns out, of course, we can do this step by step again. Sub in negative x, what do we get? 2 times negative x squared minus 1 divided by 4 times negative x squared. And of course we still get 2x squared minus 1 and we still get 4x squared. And that was the same as f of x. So the quotient of these two polynomials is also even. Another example. Let's look at 2x cubed minus x. So f of negative x is going to be 2 times negative x cubed minus negative x. So that is of course, well, what's negative x cubed? That is going to be negative x cubed. So we get negative 2 x cubed. And minus minus is plus x. Now, let's see if we can write this as negative of f. And it turns out this is minus 2x cubed minus x. And that is indeed negative f of x. And if you remember what I showed before, this means that this function is odd. Because f of negative x is negative f of x. Now let's look at this one here. 4x squared. That's actually the same as before. And we still know that this one is even. We don't need to do this one again. So what about the quotient of these two? f of negative x is going to be 2 times negative x cubed minus minus x divided by 4 times negative x squared. Or, well, we've already dealt with the top. It turns out that this was minus 2x cubed minus x. And the bottom is 4x squared. Now, look at this. This is actually the same as negative f of x. So, a rational function odd. We're dividing an odd by an even polynomial and the outcome is an odd rational function. Now I've made it look as if it's very easy to always identify that a function is odd or even. That's not the case. Sometimes a function is neither even nor odd. For example, let's look at this first one here. If I sub in negative x, I get 2 times negative x cubed minus 1. And that is negative 2x cubed minus 1. And what have I tried to do? Well, this is certainly not f of x. Let me factorize the negative. 
I get 2x cubed plus 1. It's also not negative f of x. So it's not f of x, it's not negative f of x, that means it's neither nor. It's neither odd nor even. And that can happen too.